Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to show you how to use Rampant's travel mats. And these mats are different from Rampant's other mat products because these mats come in pieces. What do I mean by that? Well, take a look at this promo and you will see that there's different types of video in each different box or each different mat. Well, Rampant's made this really simple by giving us each piece separately. Let me show you what that what I mean by that. So I'm going to get rid of that. I want to show you here's our product. Here's our travel style mats. And you will see here that there is one. This is style mat one. And then style mat one comes with part one and part two. Well, that's kind of strange. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening here. So if I preview this, you will see here that there's, oh, there's two pieces. There's a piece here and there's a piece here. Well, that's really cool. So before I'd have to mask this to put a video here and put a video here, but now Rampant's made these really cool pieces and the, what they've done is they've put part one. So here's your first piece, which is really neat. And then if I click on part two and preview that, here is part two. All right, so if I put both of these together, I will have this, this full mat. All right, well, how do I use these? Well, I'm gonna show you how to use these in Final Cut. So let's jump over here to Final Cut right here. And first thing we have to do is we have to import these mats. Importing super easy. So all I need to do is I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna go File, Import Media. And then I just need to find out wherever my mats are living, and mine are right here. I'm gonna click on the whole folder. I wanna create a new event. I wanna call this Travel Mats. And I'm gonna say Import Selected. Okay, now you can see all of my travel mats have been imported. They're just like this. And this is sort of a lot to look at, right? There's all kinds of things. Well, to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna change this from this, this view, the film strip view, to the list view. There we go. Now we have an actual list of all of our mats and then all of the corresponding parts. And this will show you really fast which mats have, like maybe you have a video that you wanna include for two parts. Maybe you have one that has four maybe five, so this is gonna be an easy way for you to quickly see, okay, well this mat right here only has two pieces, this mat has three pieces, and so forth and so forth. All right, so let's take a look at these. So here we can easily audition what's going on. I can click on the first mat and I can press the space bar and it's gonna preview, all right? So I know, okay, well there's my animation, so let me go to number two. Okay, well there's my animation for that one. Number three, that's really cool. I'm just gonna keep looking through this and you'll see where the pieces are. So I know that there's two pieces here. Going to five, again, really cool animation, two pieces. Number six, oh, that has four pieces, okay. Number seven, that has five pieces. And this, as you can see, this is a really quick way to audition. So here we go, I really like this number nine, so that's why I stopped here. I'm gonna stop on number nine because this is the one I wanna use. And as you can see here, it's gonna require two pieces of video. Perfect. All right, so first I wanna tell you, these are all 4K. All of our mats are 4K in here, uh, but we're gonna be using these in an HD timeline. So I'm gonna cr quickly create a new project. I'm gonna call this Travel Mats Tut. You can see here it's HD, and I'm gonna say OK. And here's my project. Now I just need to pull down some footage. Now remember I said we're using number nine, and there are two pieces here. So I'm gonna bring in two pieces of footage. So I'm gonna go to my stock footage here, and I have this girl who's in the city, it's really cool. And I wanna pull two of these down, so I'm gonna pull in 35, and I'm gonna pull in 31. And I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit on my, right down here on my clips so I can see them. So I have this really cool footage, just like that. Now we have to get the mats on top. So let's go back to our mats. And here's our part one and part two. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag each part down to the corresponding video that I want. So Part one, I'm gonna drag down here. I'm gonna cinch up my mat to make it a little bit easier for right now. I'm gonna grab my part two, and I'm gonna bring that down. And I'm gonna cinch that up a little bit, just like that. So now we have our mat pieces on top of our video pieces. That's perfect. Now the first thing I do when I'm working with 4K effects is I wanna make sure I change the spatial conform first. Now you can do that here by clicking over here and changing them this way the spatial conform in a big group. If you wanna do that, that's fine. I don't typically like to do that because I might use, in this one edit, I may wanna use the mats as HD at one point and then wanna use them at 4K in another point. So I don't like to do that here. I like to do that down in my timeline. And I can do that by selecting both of my clips down here, going over to spatial conform and changing it from fit to either fill, which is gonna be HD, 
or none, which is going to be 4K. Either way, whichever you like, whichever you prefer, maybe you only want a little sliver of this, or maybe you want to reposition, whatever you want to do, 4K is none, HD is fill. That's the first thing. Now, because we have both of these clips selected already, we can now change the blend mode for each, and we're going to change the blend mode from normal to stencil alpha. And now you will see that our mat is being, or well, our video is being masked by our mat. I can roll this through. You'll see here, here's my first one. And then if I jump ahead, here's the second one. Okay. Now, if you're looking here, this is a little wrong, right? I can't really see my talent here. She needs to move over. Well, how do we do that? Well, that's our next step. We're going to reposition. So I'm going to deselect both of my mats. I'm going to select my video footage. And then I want to go up here to the inspector and change the X position. I'm just going to move it over so that she's in the frame. Now, if we roll this back for her, you can see that she's fitting inside the mat. Perfect. Now we have these two pieces. How do we get them on top of each other? Well, we're going to create two compound clips. So all we're going to do is we're going to select the first part. I'm going to right click, select no, new compound clip. You can call it whatever you'd like. And I'm going to do the same thing with the second clip, new compound clip, call it whatever you like. Now the next part's really easy. We simply want to put them on top of each other, just like that. And now when I roll this back and play it, you will see, look at that. We've got two mats, two pieces of video all at one time. And that was so easy. I didn't have to mask anything. It was really nice. Love these pieces just like that. All right. Super simple. Now, another thing you can do with these mats is you can create an edit inside the mat pieces. So maybe I wanted to have an edit point. Maybe this is too long with the girl walking. Maybe I wanted to create an edit point right here in the middle when she hits the middle and put another clip in there. You see this all over TV. Um, broadcast stuff does this for their promos. It's really cool. It keeps you engaged. It keeps the mat there, but it keeps you, you know, the edit interesting. All right. So here she is walking to the middle. I need to double click the bottom one and then blade this. There we go and then drag down and replace from start. Now, if I rewind this, play this through, you'll see here she's walking and then we have a cut. And I'm probably gonna also reposition her so she's a little bit in the center, just like that. Let's rewind that again and play that through. And that we go, we have an interesting cut uh, from where she's walking to where she's looking around. That's perfect. Okay, so now let's go back to our main storyboard. And here we have it. If I rewind this and push play, now we have her walking and then she's looking around. That looks awesome. Maybe we'll want to do the same thing with the second clip. So we don't want the edits to be at the exact same point because that would be kind of strange. Maybe we want her looking around and maybe right here we'll cut to a different piece of footage. So double click on my second layer, my second compound clip. I want to blade exactly where I kept my playhead. And then I'm going to grab up, come, come up and grab another piece of footage. Maybe this one, drag it down and replace. Now I'm definitely going to have to reposition. So click on your second clip, click on the X value and then move it over to about right there. Now for we rewind this and play that through. There she is looking around and it's going to cut to her walking again. All right. So now if we go back to our main storyboard, rewind that and play that through. There we go. Now we have this really interesting cut, this really interesting edit, and we use the mats from Rampant and it's so easy to do. I love that Rampant is saving me time by creating these mat pieces. It's so great. All right. Now there is no, there's a couple other things that you can do with these mats. I'm going to cinch both of these up. You see this black background back here, right here. We can change this. We can make it a color or we can make it video. You can make it whatever you want. How do we do that? Well, what we're going to do first, let's try the color. So I'm going to come down here to the end. I'm going to put option W and make a, make a gap. And then I'm going to say, go up to my titles and I'm going to go to generators and click on solids. I'm going to drag down a custom solid here and I'm going to change the color. Maybe I want to change it to a blue. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to put these two clips on top of this blue. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to actually make a copy of these and then I'm going to drag these on top. Now you'll see, I can't actually drag like this. Well, what's happening? Well, Final Cut is telling me that this clip right here needs to be in the main storyboard because it's connected to this clip. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to take this clip off, put it over there, then I can drag this clip and I can put it on top of my color. 
and then I can put this clip back on top. And then if we wind this through, rewind this back, play that through, we now have a colored background. Perfect. And I can make this color. I can change it to whatever I want. Maybe now the client says, well, I don't really want this, this blue color. Maybe I want something that matches her hat. All right. Well, let's click on that. Let's click on our eyedropper and let's go get her hat color. There we go. Now, if we, we rewind this and play it through, there we go. Now we have that beige color, which looks a lot more pleasing, a lot nicer. All right, so that's how you add a color. Let me go ahead and get rid of this color palette. I'm gonna shrink this up just a little bit. I'm gonna make a new one of these by copying it. Oops, by copying it. Shrink up this color a bit. Now I told you you could also put video back there and you can, it's the same way as your, as your color solid here. So let's go back to our footage and let's grab another piece of her in the city. Maybe this is her feet and I want that to be my background. So all I'm going to do is put this in the main storyboard line right there. And then I'm going to grab my clips and I'm going to put them on top and I'm going to do an option drag just so I copy it. And maybe I'm going to put them here and I want this to play here and I'm going to play this through. And you'll see my mats are now on top of that footage behind there, which is really, really cool. And then it can go back to the footage as well. Or we can cut, we can take a blade and cut right here and cut this footage out. And we have the same footage. Now we can also make this blur so I can add an effect. I can go over here to my effects panel, add a blur on here. And maybe I want the blur to start there, but I'm going to end it here. So let's have no blur and then to a blur. All right. So let me rewind that one more time. And if I roll that through, you'll see it blurs out and it cuts right to the mat. And that's that. Using these matte pieces, pieces is so easy, and now you can add easy matte style to your next video. Super simple. Um, and that's all. Do you have a question about how to use a rampant effect? Head on over to rampantdesign.community. Go to ask a question under support. Click here to add your question, add a video, add a photo, write your description, and hit post, and we'll go ahead and make a tutorial for you. Once again, this is Stephanie Mullen with rampantdesigntools.com. Thanks for watching.